it, that it can. But if you're actually treating, we want to use a probiotic. If we're trying to re-inoculate and recover, we're trying to actually follow up a cleanse, we'll actually do a probiotic. So what are, what are natural sources of those other than <coughs> yogurt? Uh, we'll actually get a capsule. Yeah. I like a company called Theralac, uh, a probiotic called Theralac. The reason I like Theralac is the bacteria, the probiotic itself, is actually um, encapsulated with grape skin extract. And the grape skin extract does not dissolve until it gets into a basic, an alkaline pH. Okay? The stomach should be very acidic. So when you swallow <coughs> these probiotics, if your stomach acid is adequate, hopefully it's giving it an acid bath to kill off some of that. Most people take enough units, they're taking millions and billions, that some still get through. But I like Theralac because it actually has a grape skin extract that protects the bacteria until it gets into a basic environment where it's supposed to be, and then it opens up, and then we have a really nice probiotic there for the, the GI system. Um, but again, that's my opinion. Okay, any other questions here? What's the difference between the yogurt you make yourself and the store-bought yogurt? Okay, so the question is, what's the difference between the yogurt you make for yourself and store-bought? The biggest difference, sugar content. If it has a nice label and it has a nice little swooshy swirl on it, really pretty packaging, chances are the number of sugars are going to outnumber the number of proteins. Okay, I really like... How many of you have ever been to Europe and had real European yogurt with no sugar added? It's bitter, right? It's wonderful. That's the difference. So if you're getting a plain, bland yogurt, the sugars are not outnumbered, outnumbering the protein, you're going to do great. But most of them taste like ice cream that didn't get frozen, right? No wonder we love it with a bagel dipped in every day, right? <laughs> So that's, that's that. <clears throat> Any other questions on this for the evening? You didn't say what the appendix does. The appendix? In my appendix, appendix, in my opinion, <laughs> the appendix, the appendix again is a lymphatic tissue. It's like a tonsil. Okay? So it's an immune system enhancer and store. So when your immune system is inflamed, when you've got an inflamed appendix, your immune system is really working hard. That's why when they burst, what happens? Your body's full of bacteria and you're, you get septic very, very fast. Right? What's a good brand name for the yogurt, would you suggest? Home Aid. Home Aid? Home Aid. <laughs> oh, home aid. <laughs> <laughs>